So the next, as a second topic, I'm talking about uh, photoluminescence from triple states of ice electronic band keystone at interstellar carbon, interstellar oxygen defects in silicon. The collaborators are Kei Koga, Tatsumasa Itahashi, and Professor Kohei Ijo in Keio University, and uh, Professor Leonid Vrasenko in uh, Yokofei Physical Institute. Uh, this is why, uh, sorry, uh, we used uh, these four samples. Uh, this table indicates uh, sample information such as growth type, the a kind of radiation, and uh, a kind of radiation, and uh, ice type composition of silicon, and average mass. So this uh, figure, uh, sorry, uh, for creating a uh, carbon oxygen defects, uh, these samples were irradiated by either electron beam or gamma ray at room temperature. This uh, figure shows uh, a spectrum of optical absorption measurement. The vertical line is photon energy and horizontal uh, uh, longitudinal axis uh, means the uh, absorption coefficient. From these absorption coefficients, uh, we can estimate the uh, carbon oxygen uh, defects in silicon, uh, concentration of carbon oxygen defects in silicon by using this equation. Then uh, the concent concentration in each sample is, is shown here. In the case of 20 sil uh, 28 silicon, uh, the P, uh, signal is too weak to detect and we cannot estimate the concentration. Uh, sorry, and then, and this slide shows the photoluminescence spectrum from uh, interstellar carbon, interstellar oxygen defects in silicon. Uh, silicon line is a non photon line, and uh, and this figure shows the uh, photon replica and local vibrational mode related to silicon line, like this. Non photon line means uh, luminescence without photon assistance, uh, as I. As I, as I have explained at the previous section, and a phonon replica means a, a luminescence through the phonon. Local vibration mode uh, corresponds to the vibration energy of the uh, carbon oxygen defects in silicon. The many previous work, uh, many previous works show there uh, not only, uh, many previous works report not only scissorai, but also uh, for non replica and uh, a local vibration mode related to city line. However, this line, city line, uh, has not been reported by the previous works. In this presentation, I'm explaining uh, that uh, city line uh, is a luminescence from the triplet states of the keystone band to carbon oxygen defects in silicon. <coughs> so, for comprehending the uh, optical properties of CT line, we must check these issues. Is the CT line, uh, is the CT line luminescence from the carbon oxygen defects in silicon or not? Which the CT line, uh, the phonon replica of CT line, or non phonon line of carbon oxygen defect? And what is the band echiston state corresponding to the CT line? First, um, I'm talking about uh, temperature dependence of relative intensity between CT line and CD line for checking if the CT line is a luminescence from carbon oxygen defects in silicon. This slide shows temperature dependence of the relative intensity between CT line and CD line. The vertical axis is 1 over KT. K means a uh, uh, Boltzmann constant and T is uh, temperature. The bird longitudinal axis indicates the logarithm of the relative intensity between CT line and CZ line. Uh, and this figure shows clearly the, the Boltzmann distribution between CT line and CZ line, uh, which is described by this equation. And uh, the activation energy is about 1.7 million electron volt. It is uh, cro very close to the uh, energy difference uh, between CT line and C0 line, that is uh, uh, 2.64 milli electron volt. So uh, we conclude that CT line is correlated to the uh, C0 line 
and uh, safety line is a luminescence from the uh, carbon oxygen defects in silicon. So, uh, and this slide shows the host, uh, host silicon isotope effect of CT line and CZ line. Uh, and this spectra shows clearly that uh, uh, different isotopic composition, uh, that, uh, that is, uh, the difference, uh, difference uh, uh, average mass, like this, uh, causes a uh, peak shift, like this. The, the previous work shows that the uh, uh, isotope shift, uh, peak shift uh, due to isotopic composition is proportional to average mass, m, to minus one over two. So that this uh, line, C line, uh, C0 line, CT line, and C0 TA line are proportional to m to minus one over two, like this figure. Then C0 TA line means the uh, 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 luminescence of the C0 line through the acoustic, transverse acoustic phonon. The S-top shift of the phonon replica uh, is much uh, larger than non-phonon line. Uh, so, uh, because the uh, uh, stop shift of the phonon, uh, phonon replica in bar, uh, influence, sorry, as a uh, uh, different isotopic composition influences the the uh, electron and whole state, uh, whole energy, and, and uh, not, not only electron and whole whole energy, but also phonon energy. So, the uh, stop shift of the phonon replica, like C zero T A line, uh, involves the uh, energy shift of the histone, which is contributed to the non phonon line, and, uh, and uh, changing of the phonon frequency. So, uh, CT line, uh, the isotope shift of the CT line is the same as that of the CZ line. And while the, uh, uh, the CZ isotope shift of the CZ TA line is much, much larger than CT line, and uh, that of the CT line, therefore, the CT line is not, phonon not the phonon replica of the CZ line, but the non phonon line of the carbon oxygen defects in silicon. Then, uh, this slide shows the photoluminescence study of uh, carbon oxygen defects in silicon under magnetic field. Uh, when the magnetic field is applied, C0 line does not have splitting, while CT line is separated into three peaks. So, uh, from the result, uh, the C0 line is a luminescence from no degenerate state, while CT line is a transition from the three, three four degenerate states. Moreover, uh, the CT line and the magnetic field has the same, same peak position. Although the magnetic field, uh, 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 same peak position for uh, the direction of the magnet, uh, 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 when the uh, uh, direction of the magnetic field is changed. Although the uh, uh, direction of the magnetic field changed like this, uh, like, like this, then uh, the peak positions of the CT line under the magnetic field are not, uh, are not changed. So this result uh, implies that the CT line does not have an orbital angular momentum. Then I'm explaining uh, the mechanism of the CT line and the C uh, C0 line and the CT line qualitatively. The low symmetry and strong, uh, strong strain field of the defect makes the degenerate, degenerate holes makes the degenerate whole states separated. In the other words, whole states have only spin degenerate states. So the uh, angular momentum is quenched and the spin singlet triple states of existence appear. The previous work shows that the uh, reports, reports that the C0 line is a luminescence from the spin singlet state. And the previous report uh, of transient characteristics of the C, C line uh, uh, implies that the uh, singlet triplet splitting is about 3.2 milliectron volt. So uh, we conclude that C0 line is a luminescence from the singlet state, and, the, and that the uh, CT line is a luminescence from the uh, spin triplet state of the keystone band to carbon oxygen defects. Uh, so this discussion is based on the uh, qualitative, uh, consider qualitative 
consideration. So uh, we want to, uh, I want to discuss uh, this part more quantitative, uh, more quantitatively, especially a strong strain field creating uh, separated whole, separated whole states, uh, uh, quenched angular momentum, orbital angular momentum, and uh, uh, spin single triple system of the band system. Uh, so next, I'm talking about a theoretical model in order to research quantitatively that the strong strain field uh, due to the defect, due to the carbon oxygen defect creates the, uh, the spin-like whole state and the uh, uh, spin single triplet system of the boundary system. The spin-like whole state means that the whole states ha only have the uh, spin degenerate states, that is up spin state and the down spin states. So, uh, the previous works uh, report that uh, uh, carbon oxygen defects have a very low symmetry. Therefore, uh, we, we speculate uh, that, uh, that the, this defect has a very complicated strain field influencing the band, uh, band hole. So, for simplicity, uh, the keystone band to carbon oxygen defect is described like this figure, like this. It, it means that the uh, strain field uh, is, uh, seems to be the uh, uniaxial defect potential, like this. And the electron, uh, electrons, uh, whole states, uh, we assume that whole states are described by gamma 8 states and gamma 7 states when the, there is no strain field. The Hamiltonian of the whole is written by this equation. And we choose uh, uh, the, uh, the gamma 8 states and the gamma 7 states as a basis of the whole states. The first term is uh, in this Hamiltonian means the spin orbital interaction. And the second term indicates the actual defective potential. This slide shows the uh, uh, eigenvalues and eigenfunctions uh, of this Hamiltonian. And this figure shows uh, a relative splitting about eigenvalues and uh, against the defect potential, uh, defect potential uh, the strength of the defect potential, delta uh, D. Uh, the vertical axis uh, is, uh, uh, means uh, uh, strength of the defect potential, D. It is normalized by uh, the strength of the spin orbital interaction, delta. Then, Sorry. The, uh, the longitudinal axis means the uh, eigenvalues, uh, each eigenvalues, uh, which is uh, normalized by the, uh, also normalized by the delta. When the uh, uh, d equal to be zero along this line, uh, the, e1, uh, the eigenfunction of E1 and its uh, uh, degenerate states have, have a degenerate states, and uh, the splitting, uh, energy splitting uh, between this point and that point is equal to be the, uh, ga uh, the energy difference, uh, at energy difference between the gamma point of heavy hole right hole band and that of split off band. The, uh, when D, D is more than zero, this region, the uh, uniaxial defect potential is tensile, and while the, it is uh, compressed defect potential when D is less than zero in this region. Uh, so uh, we want to know uh, that if the whole states behave as a spin-like states when the uh, straight defect, uh, defect potential is very strong, so uh, this, and so next, in this slide, I'm talking about uh, behavior of eigenfunction when the defect potential is much stronger than speed orbital interaction. So when the uh, defect potential is a tensile crystal potential, uh, E1 and E2 is limi uh, are limited to the same energy at this point. And at this limitation, the ground states, the low, lower states of the whole, uh, have four degenerate states involving uh, spin degenerate states and uh, orbital, angular, orbital degenerate states. Therefore, the lowest state does not have to behave as a spin-like states. 
when the uh, crystal potential, uh, defect potential is the tensile. Ten is a tensile potential. So then, so when, while the while and when D uh, uh, defect potential is a uh, uh, complex crystal potential uh, at this limitation, uh, the the low, lowest lowest state uh, have, have only have uh, spin degenerate states like this. So and uh, moreover, uh, the z component of orbital angular momentum is quenched like this. So uh, the a compressed, a strong complex defect potential uh, makes the lowest ground states behave like behave like s equal one over two states, that is spin like spin like whole states. So our simple uh, calculate, uh, theoretical model shows the uh, spin like whole states uh, needs uh, a compressed crystal potential which is much stronger than a spin orbital inter spin orbit interaction. When the compressed defect potential is uh, uh, is much stronger than spin orbit interaction, the bound hole the bound hole can be treated as a spin like spin like whole states. So the, therefore uh, these whole states and uh, up spin state and down spin states uh, of electron uh, down spin states electron uh, down spin electron states are uh, only considered for uh, only considered as basis for estimating the uh, bound exciton states. The uh, electron hole exchange interaction between uh, <coughs> is written by this equation. The second term is neglected because uh, uh, this term is zero and uh, the ladder operator of the related to the hole are uh, neglected because of consider only considering the uh, these states as a whole basis. So, so the eigenfunction of the band equations uh, is written by the singlet states and triplet states. So uh, singlet triplet splitting is equal to be a equal to a. Uh, a means the uh, strength of the uh, electron hole exchange interaction. So therefore the our theoretical model finds that the uh, A equal, is equal to be 2.61 bit electron broad and, uh, 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 and it also shows that the uh, strong complex defect potential creates a, a spin triplet singlet, singlet state of the bound equation. However, uh, our calculation shows that this, these triplet states are forbidden transition states due to the selection rule. Because the uh, whole states except them, except these states, except these states are neglected. So now, uh, next, uh, uh, I will try to uh, analyze to analyze the model involving all of the whole states as a further investigation. So summary of this section. First, we have observed the non photon transition from the triple states of the keystones bound to carbon oxygen defects in silicon. The second, the uh, single triple system of the bound keystone needs a complex defect potential, which is much stronger than spin orbit interaction. Then, and it's future work. It's, um, my talk is finished. Thank you very much for your kind attention.